what's happening everyone thank you for tuning back in make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button show me some support let me give you a minute to go ahead and do that let's get right into it so I'm gonna just quickly go over a couple of essentials you will need if you are going to be having knee surgery make sure you have some ice packs ready and um, you'll probably leave the hospital with an ice pack already on. I left that day with this under my bandages and this part was coming out the bottom of the, where everything was. And I was, that's kind of scared me. I was like, what is that? But it was this to connect to this which is what you fill up with ice and water to keep the swelling down. About after a week, I went in and they put, in, put on some new bandages and took this off, which I was very happy because it got really heavy after a while. But they took this off and you know gave this to me so that I can still wrap it over top of the new bandages and still use to keep the swelling down. Also, another favorite item I used for the swelling uh, were some ice packs. And believe it or not, some vegetables, like a pack of peas or corn. Peas are my favorite. Um, those did really good and it, it felt really good to put on my knee when I, when I wasn't using this. The next item that is really important to have is a shower ch chair, excuse me, shower chair. And I found that at Amazon for eh, maybe no more than 20 bucks. For, for the first couple weeks, you probably will not take a bath. So a shower chair and something at the bottom of your tub to make sure that you do not slip. The next item is cocoa butter and scar gel. So I use this because my skin got really dry on my leg uh, for the first couple weeks and then I use this for scarring. I did not use it while the glue was still on there. I waited till all the glue fell off and then I used it and it made sure everything was closed up nicely before I used this and this the scar gel. It might be something you might want to have if you just don't want the appearance to be so noticeable so these are definitely some things that I'm using I also use some olive oil for the dry skin around my feet and my legs so that was something else that really helped out with that uh, for the first couple weeks it's gonna be hard to even get in a shower or a tub take a bath so make sure that you have maybe a bag with you um, a backpack or a small bag that you can carry with you back and forth to the bathroom uh, keep your toiletries in because you are probably going to be taking some sink baths until you can get the incisions and uh, wet another thing to have are some non skid socks so when you were walking if this if you're walking on a hardwood floor I would have some non-skid socks to wear to make sure you don't slip do not wear regular socks um, also your feet might get a little dry so I would make sure to have that olive oil handy and then use those socks to just keep the moisture on your feet and keep those and to keep those from not peeling the next item I would definitely have is a tray so for the first couple weeks have a tray available that can go over top of you for your meals um, that will be very very handy so you're not so you, you can have somewhere to set your medicines and your liquids you might be extremely thirsty like how I was for the first few weeks taking the medicine and just getting up to do anything seem to have just made me thirsty and really really tired so make sure you have some water or some some liquid something that you can drink on your tray 
when you get back to it. The next item is to have a body pillow or, or it might be called a pregnancy pillow. It's like a long pillow to have so that when you're able to lay on your side, you can put something in between your thighs to support your leg and so that brace won't bother you because you'll most likely still be sleeping with that brace on. If you do not have a pregnancy pillow, make sure you have at least a couple pillows so that you can use something between your legs if you are a side sleeper like me, I did not like sleeping on my back for the first few weeks. So make sure if you are a side, side sleeper, you do have some pillows available for that to make it more comfortable for you. The last thing I would recommend is getting yourself something nice, something to make you feel good. You're going to be laying around and feeling a little depressed for the first couple weeks because you can't do much so definitely treat yourself to something nice whether it be maybe a nice perfume or some ice cream or a book to read something just get yourself something that's gonna make you feel good so that when you start to feel down you have something to something there just to make you feel good and lift and to lift your spirits up also as I mentioned in another video is to make sure you have a strong support system so that you just feel better so that you're not thinking about your leg or your knee and you know um, the healing process anything to just take your mind off of it so I find that having family and friends around just to keep me company lifted my spirits up just being around people made me feel happy so I would definitely recommend getting your friends or family ready, letting them know, hey, I might need you, it will definitely be helpful. Also, when you're able to walk and move around, I'm not a doctor, but make sure you check with your doctor first, but definitely try to move around when you can. Um, for my TTO, I put a little weight bearing on it. They said that that was okay for me to put some weight bearing on my leg. So that helped so that I could move around more. I know that some people can't put any weight on it for six weeks, but I was able to. But when you are able to move around, definitely do. It'll help you heal a lot quicker and make you feel a lot better. So try not to sit so much although I know the feeling you're not gonna want to get up it's a hassle but just try to move around and go places go outside get some Sun that'll make you feel better too so I think I went over everything if there's anything I forgot I'll put it in another video but thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next video.